Bruce Duncan said of the Institute recently, I see what we do as operating out of what I might call a template of values that we can run across all the various social issues. These are values that many of us draw on from the Gospels. But it's not about winning converts to our own particular stream of Christianity. It is rather about identifying and affirming the values that will help bring us to our full stature as human beings. There are values that we share not just, just not, not just with other Christians or Jews, but with people of other religions and even people who may hold no religious beliefs at all. It would be wrong to underestimate the challenges involved in translating a template of values into public policy. I recall as a minister responsible for much social spending in the Hawke and Keating governments, rather overusing the word ought. We ought to do so and so. The government ought to do this or do that. I soon learned in arguments with other ministers and with public officials, it became increasingly important to search for complementary reasons why something should be done without necessarily disregarding the moral imperative. However, these discussions were discussions about administering a given policy. This institute will aim to join the broader debates about making public policy and alternative directions for public policy. Now, what I'm talking about there is within government, of course, government is elected, a certain platform, there are certain rules, there's a power structure, and in a sense, there's a lot that uh, is not really open for debate. There's a sense in which you are you're kind of, uh, uh, you're within a, uh, a sort of jet stream that it's very, very difficult to get out of and get a more independent perspective. But of course, this centre, this institute, uh, isn't going to be shackled by that. 